Hello, happy people of the internet, and welcome back for another video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the uh, M Audio Firewire sound card. Um, it's not uh, the project that I wanted to focus on, but unfortunately, uh, it's starting to uh, really stink. Um, yeah, there's some some foul smell coming out of the box and I think that the uh, coffee that met the sound card uh, is making something inside rot so yeah lots of lots of fun ahead so for those of you that haven't seen the um, the previous video where we discussed this um, I bought this uh, from a uh, from a band. They used it uh, for their performances and for their rehearsals. And at some stage, uh, it got uh, coffee spilt over it. Um, and uh, yeah, from what I've been told, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, so yeah, let's get this box open and see what kind of fun we're in kind of surprises there are for us. Okay, uh, firewire cable, which we won't need for now. Uh, power supply, we will need. And then of course the, the device itself. Okay, get rid of the box. Okay, so you can see on the front, it's uh, pretty, pretty stained with coffee, um, but that is metal, so that should clean up nicely. Uh, the top is also a bit stained with, um, with coffee and but it's all metal construction, um, so it should, the outside should clean up nicely, it's more the inside. Yeah, oh, it is, I can't describe the smell, it's not something that I've spot before, um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Um, now I've been told that they did observe that when the coffee uh, was spilt, that there was a sound, bang, whatever. Uh, so let's just get this plugged in here. And if we switch on there, then switch on here. We should see a uh, blue. We should see a uh, blue flashing light here while it looks for a uh, firewire post controller. Uh, I'm not going to switch on the phantom power just in case it does put 48 volts down somewhere funny. Um, but we've neither got a flashing light nor a solid light. Um, so yeah, this in my books is. Uh, is dead. Okay, so let's kill that there. Get that there. Just get this plug out. Okay, and I'll switch that off. Okay, so let's get it open. Um, I've had a look at the screws, and uh, it looks like it's pretty standard. So, what is this? Uh, so Phillips one for the top, three screws on the top. I don't know what kind of screws are in the inside. We will see just now. Magnetic screw dish. Okay, one, two. Oh, the other thing is if I bring this up really close to the camera uh, and 
if the camera decides to focus, then... Oh, you can see the coffee there, yeah, really bad. Um, but also, what I'm trying to show is that the, uh, the screws have got no sign of um, wear, so I don't think anybody's even attempted to, to open this and uh, yeah, attempt the fix. Let's get that focus back. Okay, and then screw number three. Okay, so that's the three from the lid. Does the lid come free? Not yet. Okay, so I think that we do our knobs. Five knobs, nothing else, nothing else, and then the front panel is a two millimeter hex or a lint key, and there are four of those, one in each corner. Oh, okay, the smell. <laughs> there are other things I'd rather be showing you guys, but other projects which I think are more interesting, but let's get this one sorted. I actually really want to use this, um, especially the, um, the line in, because you've got a gain um, which normal sound cards don't have and that is just super useful for digital radio uh, decoding. Okay, uh, so we've got the front plate, uh, that's, that's come off, um, so that should be fairly easy to clean. Now I think the top will come off, so yeah, that will come off, we can clean that. Uh, oh, okay, there we, <laughs> we can see what is, what is happening. So, okay, mm, lovely. Okay, so coffee has met the hair, uh, dust, what have you, and that is that is probably starting to corrode and rot away. Um, this is way worse than I was expecting, um, but we'll give it a good wash and let's see what what we can do with it. Got uh, two PCBs um, connected with pins. It's not a design I particularly like. Um, partly because it's the design that I injure myself so often on, but. Okay, so that's three screws from there. Uh, now, this top board, I think I can just, yep, there it comes. You know what? There's no ways that I'm carrying on like this. Um, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm back. I uh, decided to put on some gloves. Uh, it's not something I often do, but it's some, not something I ever do really, but this is um, 
this is a bit icky. Okay, so let's just carry on getting this disassembled. Okay. Oh, so yeah, lots of lots of nice, nice stuff here. Oh, okay. See, they travelled with this and clean underneath the dirty top full of, full of rubbish. Um, the group travelled with this and um, yeah, who knows uh, where it's been. Okay, I'm just going to dispose of this on the side here. Okay, now we can have a good look at the bottom. Um, oh. Yeah, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to have to wash this, get rid of that bit. Okay, so we've got to get that board out first. Um, I'm noticing a ribbon cable here. silvery and then three golds with the silvery one to my left so when that goes back on silvery one to my left um, that has got a single screw on the back holding it in oh, let me take out the optical Connector protectors. Now we get that screw out for the digital coax. And yes. Okay, so we've got one little baby board. Now, to get to you out, let's have a look. Five screws underneath, and the foot that is. Oh, no, I'm just going to stick that back where it belongs quickly. I don't know. I don't know where your nut is. Oh, and I dropped it in 
other side. So we're looking to get you out quick, okay? There's number two. Now where's three, four, and five hiding? Oh, they're going up into those brackets. Okay, interesting. Okay, so from the back, all the brackets are open to the right. Okay. Okay. Don't think it particularly matters. Okay, so we've got bracket there. holding it so this should just lift out should just lift out yep I don't want to oh there we go there we go okay so there's the Housing is not too bad, it's mainly on top of this main board and a bit underneath. Okay, so I think first things first, um, everything needs to get a good wash in some hot soapy water. Okay, I'll be right back.